Well, it's one of my favorites because it's, it's more of a character. The first drawing I saw of the Slasher was, uh, it was used for a surf contest flyer, 3A Invitational Surf Contest at the lane. Here, here's what it looked like. And as you can see, it's the same old Slasher without, without the wheels on his board. Jim said that uh, the surf industry didn't want to portray that image, so it kind of sat in the shelves for a little while. And I, I was like agonizing because I knew it was great. I knew kids would just eat it up, you know, and they were going, no, I didn't even get paid for it. Meekster came about, well, I think it was Winchester and Campbell and those skate parks. There's kind of a parallel lever of skaters, it's Caballero and him and Scott Voss and a bunch of other kids. We kind of jumped on Meekster because I thought he was the better skater at the time, as far as the vert and the parks go. I was working at NHS. First I started skating for NHS like in 1978 and then I became an employee. And so I was running the um, production area, the silk screening. It's pretty cool like whenever there's a meeting set up with Jim Phillips because you know you're going to see some like brand new shit that no one's seen. So I remember that day like going, oh cool, this is going to be rad. They decided to give Keith Meek a, a model and he was a surfer skater. He was kind of one of the boys that brought skateboard maneuvers into surfing. And I, I knew he'd like the, the slasher because he looked like slasher, you know, and out in the water, his hair is sticking up pointy and everything, you know. Jim unveils the slasher and it's like, whoa, that thing's insane. Keith liked it right away. And then Novak's like looking at it. We put the film down on the deck and it fit perfect. And Novak's like, well, why don't we just put Keith's name right here? We put Keith Meek down in there, Keith, the Meek model. And I'm just like going, wow, this is getting better and better, you know? That was just a done deal that fast. <laughs> the graphic was pretty rad. It worked out perfect for me because it was kind of my lifestyle. Like I was full surf skater into the punk scene. And, and that's kind of what the slasher emulated. I made the slasher green just because it's like uh, otherworldly, you know, green, green monsters and green dragons and green everything. You know, we have the blue for the screaming hand. So there's not that many colors. I mean, when are you gonna have a purple slasher, you know? <laughs> purple people eater. Every year they'd update the graphics on the boards. What's he gonna do? How can he make that thing better? You know what I mean? And then, so I come into the office and he's already got it on the wall, this penciled sketch. And I was just like, what? Like, this is so sick. Like, don't change a thing. It's perfect. And that's the graphic that pretty much is the standard for the slasher. The Slasher, it was a great seller. Tipped Meekster all over the world a few times. It's more of a character than a logo or an icon. And it's kind of like, you know, Mickey Mouse to me. You know, I just got to say thanks to Santa Cruz Skateboards and, and Richard Novak and Jim Phillips for letting me be part of that. Who would have thought like 30 years later, it's still going, you know?